What's up, Billy here. Um, I'm trying to get the oil out of my bowling balls. I looked online the other day and I found there's a couple different ways to do it. You can put it in an oven. Uh, I don't recommend that one only because most manufacturers will say that you put it in an oven over 120 degrees and it's going to avoid the warranty and cause some damage to it. And most ovens don't go really above or below 170 anyways. You know, mine doesn't, any, maybe yours does. Another way is to submerge it in hot water. Just get some really hot tap water and put some, you know, a dish, a Dawn dish soap in there. And cover the holes best you can. I used to, I actually did this my method myself. I just cover the holes with good duct tape and submerge it for 15 minutes. Uh, you don't have to submerge the holes per se, but just enough to get most of the ball in there. Uh, and within 15 minutes, you can clearly see that there's a layer of oil on the top of the water. And when you pull it out, you can dry it off, and it looks much duller than it did before. Uh, but anyways, I usually keep my bowling balls in, in the in the garage it's cold right now winter yeah so i brought them inside last night uh the, to warm them up i did this actually a couple of weeks ago and when i put them in front of my furnace i had noticed that one half of the ball was coated in oil i thought that was odd but i didn't really think much of it but now i just realized that having just done this again yesterday i brought my bowling balls in set them in front of the furnace here and i came in here about an hour ago and again the, the one side was just coat i mean coated with oil so I cranked up the heat, put a towel underneath it so I don't drip all over the place, and now I'm doing a little bit of like rotation once an hour. And I'm gonna show you this real quick and see if you guys can see, but clearly, so that's my roto grip. I've had that for a couple years now, and you can see how shiny on the left, that's all oil that's being pulled right out from the heat, and the other side is dull. Uh, my, my 3D offset, kind of new hammer, got that last year. So there's a little bit of shine on there, not too much, because there's not nearly as much oil, but dag on. So I didn't really think that would be a cool way to do it but i suppose it's very practical since i have my furnace on anyways yeah so it looks like there's a lot of oil coming out on one side so i'd say hey try this just lay them down in front rotate them every hour and and then just shine them up or clean them off as as the oil comes off and do that as long as you can if you're hanging out all day long like i am do that all day long uh, other that, otherwise just try it for like an hour or so if you need a quick one on the go and but yeah, in front of the furnace, prop it up in front of the heat, get it underneath the towel so it doesn't drip down onto your grout or carpet or what have you, and, and see if that works. I mean, it seems to be working for me. Good luck to y'all.